In this problem, we want to determine the magnitude of the larger shear stress at point H anywhere along the length of the beam. Also, I would like to determine the value of shear stress at point H at section AA. The basic equation that I need to use here is shear stress is equal to VQ over IT. I need to determine all of these parameters one by one. First, let me determine the value of shear force. This beam is subjected to a uniform load everywhere along the length of beam and the value of reaction forces are WRL over 2 at both ends. W is a 7 kN over meter and length of beam is 4 that gives us the reaction force on each side is equal to 14 kN. If I want to draw the shear diagram for this beam on the left side, the shear force would be 14 kN and it goes down by the slope of 7 kN over meter and at the other end that would be negative 14 kN. In the first part, I want to determine how much is the maximum shear stress everywhere in that beam at point H. So I should work with the Vmax for the maximum shear force, which is 14 kN. And let me determine how much is the value of shear force at section AA. Section AA is located 1 meter on the left side of support B using the similar triangles and can simply determine the value of shear force at that point is equal to 7 kN. Remember, in shear stress analysis, the sign of shear force doesn't matter. So I will simply write it down as, I can write it down as 7 kN. Now I need to go and determine the value of moment of inertia. The moment of inertia is constant because the section of beam is constant along the length of beam and that would be BH cubed over 12. Base is 100 millimeter, height is 300 millimeter, and that gives me the value of moment of inertia equal to 225 times 10 to the sixth millimeter to the fourth. The next parameter that I need to determine is Q, or the first moment of area. Q is calculated from this equation, A times D, and I need to determine what is A and what is D. Let me redraw my section. The point of interest here in this problem is located 16 mm above the centroid of section. And this line shows the axis which passes through the centroid of section. And the point of interest is located 16 mm above the centroid. That means that I need to determine A and D for this hacked section. The total height of this beam is 300 mm, the half of the height would be 150, that gives me the height of this hatched section equal to 90 mm. Regarding the fact that the width of this beam is 100 mm, the area of this beam can be calculated simply as 100 times 90. D, which is distance of centroid of this subsection to the centroid of the entire section, can be calculated from this equation. D is 150, which is location of the centroid of the entire section, minus 90 over 2, which is location of the centroid of this hat section from the top surface of this beam. D which is distance of centroid of this subsection to the centroid of the entire section can be calculated from this equation. 300 over 2, which is the uh, location of the centroid of the entire section, minus 90 over 2, which is location of the centroid of the hat section from the top surface of this beam. I plug these values into equation of Q to calculate how much is that. And that gives me the value of Q equal to 945,000 millimeter cubed. T, which is the thickness of this beam, is equal to 100 millimeter. 
Now I'm ready to go and plug the values into shear stress equation. Um, for shear stress, the maximum shear stress at point H everywhere in this beam, again, I will use Vmax, which is 14 kN. That gives me 14,000 newton. The value of Q is 945,000 millimeter cubed. Moment of inertia is 225 times 10 to the 6, and the thickness is 100 millimeter. That gives me the value of shear stress, the maximum value of shear stress everywhere in this beam at point H equal to 0.588 megapascal. And that's the answer of this problem. So here is the largest shear stress at point H anywhere along the length of beam. To determine the value of shear stress at a certain section, at section AA, the only change that I need to make here is using the value of shear force at that point. So I'm using the same equation, but here, instead of 14 kN, I will use 7 kN, which is equal to 7000 N. The value of Q is not changing because, again, I'm talking about the same point, point H, so value of Q would be 945,000 millimeter cubed. The moment of inertia or I is the same, and the thickness of beam is the same, and that's equal to 100 millimeter. To determine the value of shear stress at point H at section AA, the only change that I need to make in my equation is using the shear force. At points at section AA because Q would be the same, moment of inertia would be the same, and the thickness of the section would be the same. And shear force at section AA is 7 kN comparing to the maximum shear stress, which is 14 kN. And because the shear force at this section is half of the maximum shear force, the shear stress at this point at section AA can simply be calculated from this equation. That would be half of what we have already calculated. So the value of shear stress at point H at section AA would be equal to 0.294 megapascal. And that is the final answer of this problem.